Thapnam is legalized betting in Meghalaya. It appears to be strangely intoxicating. My friend Albert Nongrum, a Khasi by birth, grew up with his grandmother who was an avid better. Here he explains the psyche of the local people and their choice of numbers to place their daily bets. Counter you can see right behind me is basically a booking station where people uh, do the betting. Okay, so numbers are from one to hundred. You can book any number from one to hundred, and you can bet for starting from twenty-five paise. And for twenty-five paise, the dividend is twenty rupees. Okay, for fifty paise, the dividend is forty rupees. So it increases likewise. And how the number comes, who the winner is based on the uh, teams which they have this bow and arrow. Okay, so they have the straw targets where they, they aim at the at the straw target and they shoot. And so let's say if they shoot 430 arrows, the last the last two digits, 30 is the number. So 30 is the number. So whoever booked 30, the person gets that gets 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 wins that bet. Okay. So this is being played across Meghalaya and Assam, but the actual shooting is done here, and the number is being sent off to Guwahati as well. That okay, this is what the number is. Also. And people, how do the people arrive at the numbers? It's based on dreams. If I dream of a boy and girl. A girl is five and a boy is six. If I dream of an elephant, it's nine. If I dream of death, it's nine. Okay. If I dream of happiness, it's three. It's white. White is three. So it's all based on numbers and dreams. Dreams, numbers, bows and arrows, and betting. That's how the whole story goes. Ma, she made the lie of it. Lie of it. What job, ma'am? Job. What no? What then? What no here? Here, here. Oh, here, here. Okay. Don't bother me.